Hello, so this is MuseScore, and anyone who uh, knows this, it is a brilliant piece of free and open source notation writing and arranging and just general notation software that can rival the likes of things like Sibelius or Finale. And if you've been using Ubuntu, which is a Linux distribution, but if you use the latest version, you'll realise that the uh, current version of MuseScore that it offers is version 2.3.2, which if we go on to MuseScore's website, we realise is actually quite a bit out of date. But... Don't you worry, we're going to swap this out to have the most latest version, and, uh, and here's how we do it. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is to get rid of the old version of MuseScore. Now you can do it through your uh, actual sort of graphical software application. I'm just going to do mine for the terminal quickly, so I'm going to do sudo and purge MuseScore. And last piece, if I want to remove it, and yes I do, goodbye. Brilliant, so now that's all done, let's jump back onto the website, and again, we're going to hit free download. Now, there's kind of two ways you'd want to do it here. As we can see, the latest version is offering, at least on Windows, which uh, this is MuseScore's identifier as what they see as being a stable release. And I tend to personally prefer what the actual software provider sees as a stable release, i.e. MuseScore, rather than what the distribution sort of software provider decides like Ubuntu. Because though sometimes uh, Ubuntu can be a bit behind on things. Uh, it's not quite as much as Debian, but obviously their idea of stable is a tad more stable than sort of the most current stable version. But I like to have a bit more update software. So there's two ways you can have a look at things through here. Now, any anytime you would do it, do this through the Street App Terminal or through uh, the Software Center, you're just going to get version 2. Point something. Now, if I go on Community Packages here, it's offering several releases of version of a MuseScore 2, and it's still sort of doing it like that. Now, if we go on here for the maintainers team, we actually see they do have a copy or a, or a PPA. So PPAs are, if you don't know, are extra repositories that you attach so that you can get software from other sources. This version you could just uh, add on in, and it's set up for, uh, it says it's for 18.04 and above. Now, uh, I'm using Ubuntu 19.04 in this system, and I tried this one a little bit earlier, and I kept getting errors. Now, this can sometimes happen when it's like, you know, when it's shortly after. I mean, this is a month and a bit after that release has come out, so sometimes it takes that long to sort of get some PPAs up to date. But luckily for us, there is another way of doing it. Like I said, this this might come back into into being like useful, but for right now, at least if you're using 9.04, it's not so useful. So what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the Snap package. So instructions there where it was under Snappy, uh, which is a different form of software distribution that uh, they've been going for. You can see it's uh, sponsored by Command Call, the company that makes Ubuntu. Now, if we go to install here, it sets us up with the exact same version that comes as standard on Ubuntu, which is kind of annoying. It's version Three, sorry, version 2.3.2, but if I click down here, we can get some later versions. So we're not going to go for a beta, but we are going to go for what they, what they have as the edge version here. Uh, and this is the sort of the latest build. And so what you need to do is you can either do it in the desktop store, I'm not really going to bother doing that, or we're going to use this sudo snap install muse score edge. So I'm going to just take a copy of that and let us run it. Now I've already run mine, so if I hit again, it's going to say it's already installed. So I've run that, it comes up. Uh, it's a little bit less sort of graphically involved in the way it like animates and everything on here. But if you do that, you should get this. There we go. It's booting up nicely, and as you can see, I've already put the. Um, I've already set her up with the dark theme. So this isn't the exact, exact most latest version. The most latest version you can get is version 3.0.5, but at least for Ubuntu, I'm running Ubuntu Studio, remember, uh, we have it set up to a pretty close one. It's version 3.0.2, which is far better than having version 2.3.2. So I hope you found this useful, and if you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.